Picture this. You work your whole life. You pay into an awesome pension system. Can't wait to get to retirement. Your spouse pays into Social Security. They're excited for retirement. You guys retire. You got plenty of income. And then your spouse passes away. Not only are you dealing with that, but you're about to get hit with something called the government pension offset. We're going to talk about what that means. It can wreck a retirement plan. Here we go. Hi, I'm Antonio Sabella with Vision Wealth Management. Thanks for being here. Uh, remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the stuff we've been putting out. You'll get notified every time we put up a new video. So, government pension offset, how does it work? Well, what government pension offset says is this. If you're due to receive a survivor social security benefit, your spouse passed away, you're entitled to the benefit, it will be offset if you receive a government pension and you didn't pay into the social security system, it's offset by two thirds your benefit amount. So uh, what does that mean? Well, let's have an example. Let's say that you retire, you paid into the pension system, you did not participate in social security uh, through your employer, you received $5,000 a month in a pension check. Your spouse received $2,500 a month in social security from their work record and paying into the social security system. They pass away. $2,500 coming your way per month, right? Wrong. $5,000, two thirds of that, it's around 3,300 bucks. That's more than the $2,500 uh, uh, social security check. So it actually offsets it all the way. It eliminates it. There is no social security survivor benefit for you. So what's just happened to the financial plan? Well, we've just blown a $30,000 a year hole into the financial plan, $2,500 a month that we were planning on coming in no longer coming in. I've seen a lot of financial plans. I've done a lot of financial plans with clients. There aren't a lot of them that can withstand a $30,000 hole, especially if it happens early on in retirement. Uh, how do you fix it? Well, you're not gonna get around the, the government pension offset. That's just a thing. Uh, but you can supplement that potential lost income utilizing life insurance. So you get enough life insurance in place so that if something happens early on in retirement, an additional pool of funds are coming into the plan that can make up for the loss of that income. Eventually, you won't need it, right? If you're able to live off of the pension and the social security check, and both of you live a good long time in retirement, and then one of you passes away, even though the rule will still apply, it's not gonna be as detrimental as if something happens early on in your retirement years because you're missing all of those future years of potential payments. A uh, couple of other ways you can go about it. It's something that we review with clients all the time. Be aware of this. If one of you receives a government pension and you didn't pay into the social security system, one of you is gonna receive a social security check. You got a little bit of extra planning to do when it comes time to put together the retirement income plan because you gotta be aware of government pension offset. You also have to be aware of something called the windfall elimination provision. That's kind of like this, but a little bit in reverse. We'll have to do a video on that some other time. Those are things you gotta watch out for. Talk to your financial person about to make sure that it doesn't uh, bite a hole in your financial plan. I hope you learned something about the government pension offset today. I appreciate you being here and watching the video. Uh, thanks for showing up. As always, I hope you learned something and I'll see you soon.